In My Own Little Corner of the World of Art by Lisa Wilson. Lisa C. Wilson, 123hotmail.com. Today I'm starting on a 16 by 20 canvas. Uh, I'm using black as my base, black acrylic as my base. And here I am going to spread the um, paint with a craft. Uh, stick or some people call them popsicle sticks so there I'm going to spread it out across the canvas I go across the top spreading the paint and then I will go around the sides and then I will uh, spin it a few times and tilt it a few times to spread out the paint and and I also use my hands on this because I'm a hands-on person. What, what more can I say? Uh, if you're an artist, you use your hands a lot. Because it's messy. Paint is messy any which way you go. And here I'm spinning it a little bit to even out some of the paint to see if it's going to run down the sides. And it didn't, so I'm going to give it a few good tilts. And I'm going to use my hands to spread the paint a little bit better on the canvas and around the sides to make sure that the sides are coated and the top, to, that there's no bubbles or anything popping up on the canvas. Some people use a torch to torch their all their art and all their art pieces, but um, I don't see any point in it when I can use my hands to pop the bu bubbles or, or a, a craft stick or something, you know, to pop the bubbles, unless I'm doing cells. And here I'm spinning again to spread the paint more even and um, if, if you like any of my art, if you like this art piece or any of my art that I do on my videos, um, just leave me a comment below or email me at lisacwilson123 at hotmail.com and I'll get back with you. Or if you would like me to commission you a piece, an art piece of any colors that you would prefer for your home decor, uh, just leave me a message and, and I'll get back with you on, on it and uh, we'll see what we can come up with. Because I always work with my customers on what they want. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share my uh, YouTube channel to other people um, because you know, that's how I get people coming in to watch my videos and to spread out the news that I'm an artist, you know. Okay, I'm starting with bright red and I'm going in a zigzag motion from one side to the corner of the uh, canvas. This is a 16 by 20 canvas that I am using. Uh, it has a black acrylic base and this is uh, bright red that I put on first and I'm mixing my colors as I made this video so it's a little bit long because of where I mixed the colors. Uh, I mixed my colors with one part flow trial, one part paint and a little bit of water to thin them down a little bit and sometimes I do put um, Elmer's all glue in it just a, a little bit and some people use other other things in their paints but that's pretty much what I use in mine and then if I want cells to pop up I use a cell generator to pop up my cells and this one wasn't supposed to have cells but uh, there's a few cells that's popping up in the paints Okay, and I mixed up another color, and um, I'm going to go ahead and put it down on here, and it is light sky blue, 
is the next color and I just pour it on top of the bright red to emphasize that there's red you know to, and I'm trying to keep the color simple today on this painting and my paints are just a, a little on the thinner side just a little bit on the thinner side because I want the paint to move onto the canvas and okay here is a purple this is like a, a medium dark purple it's not real real dark it's like a medium dark purple uh, paint that I have um, most of my paints uh, my acrylic paints uh, are Master's Touch from Hobby Lobby or there's liquid text that I use and golden that I use and this is light teal blue paint and I was afraid that the light teal blue and the sky blue would clash but after after I got looking these two colors counteract each other and they look real pretty together with the red and the purple and here I'm putting metallic gold onto the canvas onto the top and I mixed up some titanium white and I'm going around the sides of each each side of the um, paints that I had put on because I am going to do a blow over and when you do a blow over you can do a blow over with a hair dryer it doesn't have to be an expensive hair dryer it could be a cheap one and here I'm using a wooden craft stick just to make some swirls in in through the paint to give it a little bit of a different look uh, and it was a sample for me to see if I liked it because when you're an artist you do different things you try different things and I already saw that the uh, teal blue and the sky blue was kind of looking a little bit to the greenish side and um, I was afraid that it was going to be muddy looking once I use the hair dryer, but I'm going to use a, a cheap hair dryer that I bought, and um, I'm going to blow blow the paint out from one side over and then to the other side, and what, that's why I have this in my spinner box so I can turn my canvas to um, do each side on a bigger canvas and it does real well with that and as you can see the right in the middle the uh, sky blue and the light uh, teal has kind of made it a bluish color mixed with the purple and it, I was afraid it's going to look a little bit too muddy when I blowed it so I'm going to go back and, and add some color, some white, to break up that color, that teal a little bit. i put it in the middle and out to the sides. And i also put a little bit of extra of the bright red through the middle to bring out some of the red into the middle. And I'm going to blow, blow it again, blow it out one more time through the middle. When you, when you do an artist and paint, you have to experiment with things to, to get it the way that you like it. And the way that, you know, you think it's going to look good hanging on the wall. And see, I'm, I'm breaking up that collar that gray color that I didn't really care that much for so I put a little bit more white and red and here I'm blowing it out a little bit more with the hair dryer I don't want to overblow it with the hair dryer with the dryer because if you overblow it just mixes the paint and makes it all muddy looking um, you're not supposed to go over the same place twice but I did in this one 
Okay, we'll spin it just a little, try to move the paint around a little bit more. And I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, no, I need more, more white in it. I'm going to go back and add, um, I'm going to blow it, the collars out with a straw to move the paint a little bit more. And here I bought this big container of straws for just a couple of dollars at our local store. So, um, the cheaper the better when you use materials, um, because the more money you save, the better off you are when you paint. But the paints, you use good paint with pigments, with good pigment colors in it. Don't buy the little cheapy kids paint unless you're um, letting them paint. And this is one of the straws. It, it's one that has the bendy top on it. That way I can move the paint better. And I wanted some of the black to show through. As you, you see here, I am um, blowing it in small areas to bring some of the base color out, the black, and bring some of that black base coat through. And I'm going all the way around. I'm moving my canvas around and spreading paint in a different direction. When you use a straw, it just blows just little areas uh, more so than what the hair, hair blower does the, or a blower does because the uh, this is more controlled of where you want your paint colors to go. I'm going to blow it out a little bit more. But once again, if, if you like any of my art, if you like this art piece or any of them that I do, uh, just leave me a comment and, or email me at lisacwilson123 at hotmail.com. And um, we can work out something. Or uh, if you like a colors, you know, me to do you a certain um, painting, in different colors of your choice then um, I can do that too and I, I gave this a, one one good spin one more good spin and I'm uh, go around the bottom edges and get some of the paint off because when the paint moves when you spin it the paint comes off of the sides of the canvas and and when you wipe the bottom it kind of stops the paint from moving I mean it it don't stop it completely but it stops stops it from rolling so much off uh, thank you for watching my video I'm in my own little corner of the world and I Lisa Wilson artist and thank you for watching and at the end is the final 